Hello friends, this is Kaya, aka Comfy Girl Curls, and welcome back to my channel. Last week, I celebrated my blog's five year anniversary. Five whole years. Ooh. Over the past five years, I've essentially gone from creating content for fun to creating content for fun and money. And I think one of my favorite things about this journey is just that there's so much to learn. I have learned photography. I have learned digital marketing. I've learned graphic design. I have learned how to make videos. And honestly, it helped me find my community. Prior to starting my blog, I didn't know a lot of people who looked like me. I didn't know very many people who shared some of the same experiences that I had. And and blogging just literally connected me with people worldwide. Like I have people that I genuinely consider my friends that I have never met in person before. There's all these things I didn't even know would be possible. But I did learn some things along the way, so I will be sharing with you guys five lessons or five things that I learned over the past five years of blogging. Let's dive into it. Okay, so the first is nobody owes you anything. Nobody owes you engagement, nobody owes you views, nobody owes you support. And I know that sounds really negative or downer-ish, but it's the truth. And I think that although we know this one in theory, it's really hard to understand in practice. So there's been so many times that I crafted what I thought was like this beautiful blog post where I was like bearing my soul. And especially in those early days, you don't really have much of a following outside of friends and family. And you're really expecting those people to show up and, you know, read your stuff. And when only a small percentage of them do, it's really easy to get disappointed. But I think once I realized that, you know, nobody owes me a read, the less disappointed I was in people and the more I was able to focus on building an authentic, engaged community that would show up and read my content. The moment you start to accept that nobody really owes you views or engagement, the more at ease you're going to be. Even as your platform grows, not every single one of your followers or your subscribers is going to engage with your content. Okay, next thing I learned, number two, how important it is to have a vision and plan. You need to know where you're going. My blog actually started as one, a creative outlet, and two, as a way for me to hopefully connect with and maybe inspire other women with natural hair. That was kind of like the extent of my vision and plan. You know, I knew that blogs could make money, but at that point I hadn't really thought out the technicalities, like the how. It took me a while to really start laying out specific goals for my blog and actually laying out the plan, the roadmap for how I was going to get there. Because without a vision, you might be creating content that really isn't relevant to each other. And if you don't really know your vision and your end destination, how is your audience supposed to follow along? Okay, the third thing that I learned was the importance of consistency. Yes, I recognize that consistency is a buzzword at this point, and I knew that it was important back when I started my blog, but I didn't really prioritize consistency in the same way that I do now. I cannot begin to count the amount of times that I just like disappeared from the blogging world. And I would be gone for literally like eight months, and then I'd come back, with this renewed sense of inspiration and I'd be pumping out blog posts like two times a week for a couple months straight and then nothing again. Like you could see every time I disappeared, my blog traffic just dropped. It would hit like rock bottom. And if I just focused on posting once a week and saving those extra posts that I had drafted and you know, posting them at a later date when I didn't have inspiration, I would have been just so much better off. And of course, with consistency, you don't wanna burn yourself out. You wanna be realistic with what you can manage. So maybe for you, that is two times a week, that is three times a week, but you wanna build up that consistent schedule so your audience can rely on it. You don't want these long gaps of time to pass where they don't even know if you're an active blogger anymore. And then all of a sudden you're back and overwhelming them with like an abundance of content. That's not really sustainable and that's not really fair to your audience if you're expecting them to stay tuned in and engaged with what you're posting. Okay, so the fourth thing I really had to learn over the past five years of blogging was the importance of staying open. And for some context, I am like a research nerd. I have so much curiosity. I will often Google something to death until I feel like I am an expert 
expert on the topic. And the reality is I had to learn to humble myself a little bit and realize that there is always stuff to learn. And an example of this is there have been many times where I've been scrolling through YouTube videos, trying to research a particular topic. And I'll see something titled blank for beginners. And I would just skip over those videos because I genuinely felt like I was an expert on the topic. Like I didn't need to be watching beginner videos. But time and time again, I've had to humble myself and just say, hey, you know what? Like, let's just check this video out. And time and time again, I have learned something new. So my advice is just literally, no matter how much you think you know, don't be afraid to go back to the basics and watch those beginner videos and just stay open to new information. And that's what I'm still working on. Okay, last but not least, the fifth thing I learned after five years of vlogging is being successful has nothing to do with luck and everything to do with hard intentional work. Even if someone goes viral and has just this like amazing flood of traffic, if they haven't done the hard work to, you know, build out their blog and make sure it is foundationally sound, they aren't going to be able to sustain that traffic and that newfound fame. It's like that one trick pony or one hit wonder. And that's not what we wanna be. Like nearly anything, if you do the work, do the research, analyze your own work and pivot accordingly, there is no reason why you can't be successful with time. And really understanding that this was like any other job and I just had to work at it really made everything a lot more realistic for me. Because honestly, even where I'm at now is way beyond where I thought I could ever be as a content creator. I pictured any form of success as a distant dream. Like, oh, wouldn't that be nice if one of my pictures went viral? Or wouldn't it be nice if a lot of people used my affiliate link? And it was really just this like vague, dream. But the moment I realized those things are on the table, if I am setting up my blog the right way, if I am promoting myself the right way, those things will happen. And some of them have already happened. So it has been quite the journey. And honestly, depending on how I feel on any particular day, sometimes I'm like, oh, it's already been five years. And other times I'm like, wow, it has been a long five years. But overall, I'm honestly so proud of how far I have come and I'm so excited to see where the next five years take me. So I just wanted to thank you guys for watching this video and just a huge, amazing thank you to everybody who's been a part of this journey with me. I know that there are people out there who have been following my blog or my Instagram since year one, and you just have no idea how much I appreciate that and just how touching that is. If you enjoyed this video, it'd mean the world if you subscribed. And if you want to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, you can catch me at Comfy Girl Curls. Until next time. Five years. I cannot believe how time fast, how time fast has flied. <laughs>